Hello students, welcome to grammar class. Let's move on to lesson 15, simple present tense. I hope you have written down all the rule table of simple present tense which I shared with you in the previous period. Now let's move on. Simple present tense is used to describe an action that is regular, true or normal. Generally, simple present tense is used to show the repeated action. The rules of simple present tense is, are, am or only action word in their root form with s or es or without s. You have to remember this rule, dear children. Simple present tense, the sentences will have either is or am or action word in their root form with s or es or without Yes. So, we use simple present tense to talk about our daily routines, facts or scientific facts, habits, general truth, feelings and emotion. Let me explain to you with example. We use simple present tense for repeated or regular action in present time period. For example, I take the train to the office. This is a repeated action that you do every day. The train to the Berlin leaves every hour. John sleeps 8 hours every night during the day. So these are all the repeated action. For these repeated action, we use simple present tense. Next, we use simple present tense for facts. For example, the president of USA lives in the White House. A dog has four legs. We come from Switzerland. We use simple present tense for showing habits. For example, I get up early every day. Carol brushes her teeth twice a day. They travel to their country house every weekend. For things that are always or generally true. For example, it rains a lot in winter. The Queen of England lives in Beckingham Palace. They speak English at work. Feelings and emotions. He cries. I like to sing. Now how to form the simple present tense? If we get plural subject, we use first or the root form of the verb. For example, I do, we write, girls sing, children Play. girls girls means many so when you get many subject we use the first or the root form of the verb simple sing play no s no es no ed no ing but when you get a singular subject we add s or es to the first or the root form of the verb for example he does she writes, girl sings, child plays. This is the only rule, dear children, that you have to remember for simple present tense. If you get plural subject, no change in the verb. If you get singular subject, you have to add S or ES. Now, how to put S or ES? For verbs that end in O, C, H, S, 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 X or Z, we add ES in the third person of the verb. For example, go becomes goes, catch catches, wash washes, kiss kisses, fix fixes, bus buzzes. 
for verbs that end in a consonant plus y that is if you get a consonant before a y for example marry you have r before y so it is a consonant so in this type of words you have to remove y and put i e s so marry becomes marries study becomes studies carry carries worry worries but if you get a vowel before a y we simply put s without removing y for example play plays enjoy enjoys say says hope children you understood when how to put s or es let's move on to the textbook exercise d fill in the blanks with simple present tense of the word given in the bracket the first sentence bees dash to protect themselves from their enemy bracket sting now you have to see the subject see the subject if it is in plural form or in singular form bees bees is in a plural form so what is the rule for plural no change so sting remains as it is bees sting to protect themselves from their enemy next sentence these girls dash dance lessons every day bracket tick girls girls again is in a plural form so we make no changes these girls take dance lessons every day number 3 my neighbor has a shepherd dog it dash after the sheep very carefully bracket look so it is a singular subject so look becomes looks my neighbor has a shepherd dog it looks after the sheep very carefully next sentence you dash these answers well after you and i we generally do not make a change so no remains no you know these answers very well she she is a singular subject she dash excellent arguments to prove her point bracket give she she is a singular subject so give becomes gives the rajdhani express is the name of a train it is a name of one train the rajdhani express dash agra late in the evening bracket reach as we have singular subject so reach will become reaches the rajdhani express reaches agra late in the evening the rest of the sentence dear children you can do it yourself just keep the rules in the mind thank you dear children watch the video again and again for better understanding